Good day. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you of how to control two LEDs. So as you can see already in our Arduino board and in the bike in the breadboard that we have already set up the first LED and then um, this is the good thing for the setup for uh, electronic component setup since for this project you did two LEDs and if you already set it up and use it to a previous project such as blinking the LED so we just need to add another LED you don't need again to reconnect reconfigure all the electronic components set up so for this we're only going to add another LED so for this we're going to have a green LED so and then the corresponding resistor to be used and then of course a pair or if you need more uh, wires or the pont wires to uh, cables to be exact so it depends upon your uh, need on this project so let's set up the and uh, the led the green led again you have to remember where you're going to put the uh, longer legs so since let's follow the longer leg of the led is at the top so let's make it also with the same orientation so will not be confused and then again you remember that the the anode is here so again let's have a resistor installed or connected okay make sure that it is properly connected and it is again aligned and then next is we have um, our wires for the cathode. Okay, since this is the cathode, again, let's connect it in. Okay. To the ground. And then we have another one for the um, pin that we're going to assign to the Arduino. So let's assume that, let's put it in pin number number three. So zero, one, two, three. And then connect it again, make it uh, aligned to the resistor. So we already have the second LED set up. So again, it's already easier if you already um, um, set up for example blinking the LED you have one LED needed and then for this example is we have two you just need to add and uh, the same settings is needed because they are just the same LED so we are ready now to code the corresponding Arduino sketch to control these two LEDs so we're ready to create our Arduino sketch for controlling two LEDs. Actually, we can do so by just providing the digital write and the delay functions for the other LED. But for specifically for this um, example, we're going to utilize tabs so that we can see what is the purpose of having tabs and what is the advantages of using tabs instead of all the codes are included in the main tab. Okay, so every start of our um, Arduino IDE is we have this tab. Actually, again, it's a new tab, so that's why the the name of the tab is sketch underscore the date today. So this is actually the main tab. So what we're going to illustrate here is we're going to create tabs uh, to separate some lines of codes. So tabs is useful. For example, if you have a thousand lines of codes, if you can separate them into different tabs, then your main tab will not be uh, uh, too long for uh, for the of course for the for for the execution of the code. And tabs makes your uh, Arduino sketch readable. So let's start. So let's make our font size bigger so that we can see better. Okay. 
So, wait, wait. Another... Okay. So, I think this is already enough. So, this is the main tab. So, let's create a new tab aside from this main tab. So, from here, from the inverted triangle, select new tab. And then, we have this yellow highlight. New for Name for new file is we have led.h for our our own library that we'll be creating. So we have to be careful of the usage of um, our uppercase or lowercase because Arduino, because it, it, it inherited its characteristic to Turbo C that it is very case sensitive. And then since we're going to use uh, small caps for LED.h, so make it uh, lowercase letters. And then we have um, the options OK and cancel, of course. Click OK. So we already have a separate tab, aside from the main tab, a separate tab for LED.h. So what is the content of LED.h? Because this is .h, it is a sort of a library. So specifically for us, we can create our own libraries depending on your needs. So libraries always starts with the number sign if n def and then space led underscore h and then we have define led underscore h so that that is the uh, again uh, library starts with number sign if n def and then we have the define and then let's define the actual LED that we'll be using instead of defining it here in the main tab. So number sign define LED underscore one is equal to uh, it is will be assigned to pin number three. As you can remember to the setup, we've set up the the LED the specifically the the green LED to pin number three and it is called the LED one and then we have define led underscore 2 then it will be 11 which is the red led and then uh, in our previous examples it's always led 1 is the pin 11 but in our example our led to now is the red led and then end our library with and if this is the um partner of the keyword if and def if you do not include and if here there will be an error so we're already finished with the uh, library for the led.h so next is we're going to create another tab for led again new tab and then just type led again in lowercase letters and then click ok so we have another tab so for this LED tab, so we're going to uh, incorporate here the function for um, blinking of the two LEDs. So we have void blink underscore LED, then int LED. Okay, so this line of code is the function blink underscore led its parameter is to be uh, that the function will be using is the int led and it will not return any value since it is void and then provide left curly bracket and it will automatically produce the right curly bracket and then digital right and then we have led then we have high and then delay 500 just like the blinking of uh, a single LED and then we have another one digital right LED low delay 500 so this code is really very familiar because this is the code that is used for 
blinking the LED. The only difference is that it is written not in the main tab but in a separate tab where only the blink LED function is encoded. So, okay. Why is it LED? Because the parameter that the blink underscore LED will get is the uh, int LED. So, that's why here is uh, the, uh, the word or the variable name LED is used. So, we're already finished with the LED tab. So, next is we have, let's return to the main tab. So, for the main tab, okay, since we have included led.h as a library, we have to include it in here. So, we have include led.h. Okay, for user-defined libraries, or libraries that, uh, for, uh, for example, not uh, not really um, uh, any library actually, we must put it in double quotes. Specifically, this is used for customized libraries because we are the ones who made our own library LED.h. So double quotes. You will have an error if you will not put a double quotes in the LED.h. And then, okay, in void setup, so since we use two LEDs, again, we have to declare it and um, define what is the nature of this um, component. So we have pin mode. Then the name in the LED.h is LED1 and LED2. So we'll put LED underscore 1. So again, it's an LED. It should be an output. And then since we're using two LEDs, we have to declare the other LED. Declare the nature of the electronic component. So LED is also an output. Okay, so we're already set up the two LEDs. Then next is in a void loop. So, so what we're going to do is we want to make LED 1 and 2 blink at the same time. So since, as you can remember, we've used in blinking LED this uh, four lines of code, but we're not going to put these four lines of code in the main tab because it's already included in the function. So what are we going to do? So call the function blink underscore LED and then Okay, um, since you want to control the first LED, LED1, so for LED tab, it's int LED, but in the main tab, you're going to, what what uh, LED or which LED you're going to control is you have to indicate the name of the LED, and then you have a delay of 1,000 milliseconds or one second delay and then another one is blink underscore led and then you want to control the the next led or the other led which is led underscore two okay so we're already finished with setting up our tabs our main tab and the led tab so, by means of analyzing these lines of code, it means that LED1 will blink first and then there's a delay of one second. Then LED2 will blink and they will alternate in blinking. Actually, they will not blink simultaneously. Why? Because based on the order of execution, LED underscore 1 will blink first and then there's a delay of one second, and then LED2 will be the next. Okay, so let's check if we have any errors for our um, code. Okay, let's save. So, uh, blinking, for example, blinking two LEDs tab. 
So just set the description that this function, uh, this Arduino sketch controls two LEDs, but we're utilizing tabs in our Arduino sketch. So let's save. Okay, let's compile if there are any errors. Okay, there are no errors. So I encoded it uh, without a mistake. So uh, this is the example. What if, for example, you did not include um, this line of code, the number sign include? Okay, so let's make it a comment. So comment means in our previous discussion, it ignores. So if you make it a code, um, Arduino compiler or the compiler will not... Um, will not execute this. Will It will automatically consider it as a comment. So let's try to verify what will happen if you make it a comment or this uh, does not exist, okay? Okay, so because led.h contains the uh, the declaration for led underscore 1 and, and led underscore 2 there will be an error so led underscore 1 was not declared on the scope actually let's just remove if you uh, if you want to be sure that it's making this a comment and removing it uh, just the same the same error so let's verify it again so again if you make a line of code a comment the compiler ignores it as if it doesn't exist at all. So you see, they have the same uh, display of errors. Okay, so let's return it again and then verify. Okay, another one. What if you do not include, you did not put double quotes? What will happen? Okay, there's, um, there's again an error. So, number sign includes file name or uh, with the uh, less than and greater than symbol. So, this is for the standard Arduino library. But since ours is a customized library, so we need the double quotation marks. Okay. So, it's very good. They already have a suggestion on how to do this. So, again, let's compile. Okay. So, we are, uh, there's no error. Then we are already uh, to upload our sketch in the Arduino board with the electronic components set up for the two LEDs. Okay. So, we're ready to upload our Arduino sketch of blinking the two LEDs. So let's see if it is if it is working. So it blinks uh, based on the analysis of the Arduino sketch. It will blink alternately based on the sequence of the execution. So I've already configured the Arduino board and then we've already set up of course. So let's see if this will work smoothly and there are no errors. So, we've already verified it. It does not have an error for the Arduino sketch. So, let's upload. Okay, uploading successful. So, you can see LED1 is the green LED and LED2 is the red LED. And then you can see there is a one, uh, one second delay. So, this uh, LED is blinking half a second. So, one second, half second on, half second off. And then, the red LED also uh, do like that. And then, they have a one second delay. So, they are blinking alternately. Again, you can play again with the delay. So, for example, you want LED... You want the LED to blink faster. So, we can do is we have... Make it 100 again. Make it 100. Okay. So it blinks faster. Okay. So the question is, can we 
have a separate setting for the blink LED so actually since we're just using only one function so their their speed for the delay is just the same you need to create another function that has a different um, um, declared parameter in the delay function for example you want this uh, first function is for example 100 milliseconds and you want the other one is in um, uh, one second so you need to have a different set of function so just like the other for example make the um, the high status to be for example in five seconds so let's see okay five seconds it is on and then it will be off in very fast and then one second delay and then LED2 will react so it will be again done repeatedly since it is included in the loop function so there it is our uh, controlling two LEDs so again actually you can use two sets uh, for 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 LED1 and LED2 uh, but for this um, Arduino sketch we've demonstrated of using tabs so again um, if you have thousand lines of code for your main tab it's be uh, for your main tab you have to separate it into uh, other tabs so that your code will be more readable for example to other programmers who will see your program so that's it so i hope that you learned something from this um, tutorial so i hope that um, you will like my youtube channel so please like and subscribe and then if you have questions please comment below so again please join me to my uh, for my other tutor uh, tutorials that i'll be um, sharing with you so thank you very much and good day